Best is shooting. I'm back again with another Final Cut 10 tutorial. I got a question on one of my LUT videos asking how do I do the difference line where it shows the before and the after of the LUT. And uh, basically it's this effect right here. You see how the line is swiping left to right, left to right, left to right, whatever. Um, I'm going to basically show you exactly how I did that. I'm in the process of creating a new LUT video right now. So comment, like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. And be one of the first to get the LUT video. I only let 20 people download it. So if you're one of the, the 20 people, you get it for free. If not, it's 5 bucks. So, okay, I'm going to start over right here. Click Reset Parameters. So I'll show you exactly how I keyframe it. Okay, so the video at the top is the the raw S log two footage. So I, I shot this on the A6500, and the video below it is the color. I didn't use this final color. If you're interested in seeing what final color I decided to go with, the, the video is live on my channel. Okay, so here now we we can go either way. We can go left, right, top, bottom, whichever way. But on this particular video, I chose to go you know to the right so go here you click the keyframe click the keyframe um, go to the end of the video I haven't talked about this in so long but it's, it's kind of fun it's, it's refreshing my memory go to the end of the video um, go back to right and then drag that number up and you see it goes all the way across so that has created your keyframe. And now that you have your keyframe, once you go to say, um, you know, play it out or, or whatever, that's what's gonna happen, but without you actually having to manually do it yourself. A lot of music video effects are used by keyframe, if you didn't know. So here it is, uh, we'll just hit play. simple as that do you see the before and after and then usually I would probably take a name here from the text or something of course make it a lot smaller move it down somewhere uh, we can leave it in the center uh, wherever you want to put it is, is this is this is your art man however you want to do it put it there name it uh Name it Anti. Shout out Anti Living to me. And then that would be the name of that particular LUT, you know? Alright, we'll play it. Saw the, an saw the Anti pop up. I would actually make it a lot longer, but for the video's sake, I'm just making it short. Uh, and then from there, you, you don't even have to recreate the keyframe. You would just hold out and drag over the one with the color and then hold alt and drag over the, the plain Jane one. Click here and change it to a different LUT. Simple as that. And then go back and name that LUT and so on and so on, depending on how many LUTs you'd like to give away or how many LUTs you'd like to charge for. So I'm glad I could make this tutorial, man. Y'all got to make them come faster so I can keep the content going. But I'm going to bring in, be bringing something real dope to the channel, man, that's going to allow me to create more content because you guys are coming a little bit too slow with the questions, to be honest. So <laughs> I'll explain that probably before I drop this. I just released a music video today, so I'm probably going to be releasing this tomorrow, which is... Uh, Friday, it's my girlfriend's birthday. Shout out to my girlfriend. We've been together seven years. I know y'all don't care about that, but shout out to her. So, yeah, get back with me and catch the shooter. Signing out.